Hello. This is Indigenous, aka Sakari, speaking. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the classical sacred geometry formation known as the Seed of Life using only Geocone.net, a software that runs in your browser and that I have developed. It's sort of a Photoshop for geometry, if you like. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Here we can see the main window of Geocone. As you can see, it's running inside a browser currently. And uh, here you can see the basic formation that is added by default in Geocone. As you can see, it has three points here. And uh, you can see here the number of points parameter and here you can see the recursion depth parameter. I'm gonna show you what happens when you drop down the recursion depth to zero. Now it's just a basic triangle. So from these two, no two parameters are very important. The number of points and the recursion depth. Okay, for the seed of life formation we're gonna start with a six point formation. So we're gonna increase the number of points to six from here. And that's a, that's a basic hexagon formation with recursion depth of one. What, what this means is that uh, the base formation, which can be seen if I go here and enable draw base form, you can see this hexagon here. This is the base formation that is copied to each of its vertex, vertex points along its outer edge. Now I'm gonna disable this drawing of base, base form for now, so that it looks more better for our purposes. And now uh, we will. The seed of life is a circular, circular formation, so we want to make this form a more circular. So we can uh, increase the number of child points ratio, which means that all the children points here that are copied, their number of points are increased with this multiplier. So if we have six points and the multiplier is two, each of these children will have six times two points. In this case, it's 12 points. So we, we want to make it even more rounder. We can increase it to up to like six. Six is already a nice number, six times six in 36 points. But we can still see that it's a kind of bloggy. Let's just go ahead and dial it up to 12. This means it will have six, each of these rings will have six times 12 points. And uh, this will mean they have 72 points, which is close to a nice circle. We can see how it looks up close by increasing the radius. The radius will increase the radius of the base form, which, which can be seen if, if, if I toggle it here, or if I press the B button on, on my keyboard. And also I can increase the radius with the keyboard with the Alt key. Alt up, Alt down. This way I can look if it looks nice. And uh, yeah, I think it looks nice. Now let's disable the base form drawing by pressing B again. That's it. And now here's one nice trick that's a new feature in the Geocone 97 version. We have this option to copy this current formation along its vertex points. So if I choose this here, you see it copies this for whole formation to one of its vertex points. If you repeat it, it does it again in a circular motion, going around all of, from here to here to here to here. And with the base, you can see how, what it's, it's doing. It's copying the whole formation here, then here, then here. We can also press the dot, dot button on the keyboard to have the same effect. Copies it here, and once more here, and again, right here. Actually, now we have the base form also in all of these formations. So 
we wanna we wanna disable that. We can juggle the formations with J and K. So I'm gonna go through of this and remove the drawing of base formation. And now you can see. Okay, I have to copy it once more. There it is. Now it's copied all around it in six different points. Now we can actually move or delete delete the center point formation because we don't need it. This the interference of these formations already form the uh, seed of life formation. And actually, there we have it. That is the seed of life created with Geogona. Now we can uh, save the scene to our server so we can uh, continue editing it later. I choose save from here and I press give it a name. Let's, let's change the name seed of life 02. And then I'm just save scene. It will tell me scene seed of life 2 has been saved. And it's, it's right there in the server. Now if I reload the page, I can just go to scene, load, and choose choose my scene here, Seed of Life 2. Ah, here it is. Nice. And what we can actually do with this scene is now we can export a high resolution image of this scene. So we can use it for our background or whatever we want to use it. If I press here, it will take a while because uh, it's running in a browser and uh, things aren't as fast as on the native side. But here you can see it is processing and loading the scene. And actually it's drawing it again with the higher resolution. And here you have it. The full full resolution version of the image. You can zoom in and look at it. It's 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 pretty big. I can save this to my desktop. Save it as seed of live indigo hires one and now I can edit this later or use it as my background or do whatever you like to do with these things and that's basically it now have fun with geogone go to geogone.net here and start creating your own geometry this is indigenous signing out